Hey guys, Dante here from Reckless Nostalgia, and um, today I got a really awesome pickup and a little story behind it too. Um, I'm going to make this a little quick. I saw an ad on Craigslist the other day, and it said, uh, you know, a lot of records need gone ASAP, and it said various uh, genres, you know, rock, you know, soundtracks, you know, mainly 80s and 70s rock. And I, you know, I jumped on it real quick and I said, hey, you know, what records do you got? And he said, you know, I got a lot of, you know, ACDC, you know, Halen, Osborne, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, whoa, you know, how many are we talking here? And he's, you know, he said a lot. And I said, well, how much are you looking for for all of them? And he said, you know, 50 bucks. And apparently this guy is moving out of state. He's actually moving to... Um, Philly, and we're living in Florida right now, so he had to get these gone ASAP. So I went there, and I was talking to the guy, and I actually knocked him down to uh, 35 bucks for all these records. And there's a lot of really awesome ones in here, guys. And um, I haven't really said this on any of these videos yet, but back in, I think, 2001, I remember my dad, he had... He had a lot of records growing up, and in 2001, my house burned down on Long Island, and we lost everything. We lost all my records, and I think this pickup right here motivated me to start collecting vinyl again. You know what I mean? I have a lot of hip-hop vinyl, but um, I think I'm going to start co uh, collecting uh, vinyl records again. So um, this is going to be the beginning, I guess. Um, so let's start right here. I guess we'll start with this stack right here. You already got a good ass record right here, ACDC Highway to Hell, and ACDC uh, Floon on the Wall, Floon, uh, Flow on the Wall, I don't know, I never even heard of this one. You got a uh, Queen of the Game, you know, some Rolling Stones right here, got two of them, and then I like this one obviously, you know, Sticky Fingers. The zip. That's awesome. Cheap trick. Mirrors by Aerosmith. This is actually one of those I actually have already. Uh, Billy Joel, an innocent man. Uh, Billy Joel. Glass houses. You know, this is a weird one. Rolling Stones. Through the Past Darkly. Big Hits Volume 2. Woodstock, this is awesome actually, gatefold, and it's got a really awesome concert picture right there, I'm really digging that one, Neil Diamond, Hot August Night, you know, History, America's Greatest Hits, Foreigner, Right, Masters of Metal, this one, you know, it's got some Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Kiss, Twisted Sister, Van Halen, Rush, Dio. That one's really cool. Scorpions. Another one, Blackout. Good record by them. Worldwide Live, I gotta listen to that. This one's pretty cool, Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Uh, Meet the Beatles, Beatles' second album, and then this one, Superstars of the 70s, and you got some pretty good ones on there, the Allman Brothers, you know, Beach Boys, Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper, Deep Purple, The Doors, Eagles, alright, on to stack two, Ernie, good, good ass record right here, Bark at the Moon, Ozzy, you got Boston right here, Cool, awesome gatefold right here. Really digging that. Got Rush Signals. Um, I had this one on CD too, but pretty good one. You know, Hendrix in the West. This one's pretty cool. Jimi Hendrix, uh, The Cry of Love. That's really awesome. I love that. Electric Lady Land, the Jimi Hendrix Experience. This one, oh, this is cool. 
That's probably this is probably one of my favorite Hendrix albums. I don't know. Um, got a bunch of Kiss in here. You know, I'm not the biggest Kiss fan, but hey, they're cool to have. So you got you know the Paul Stanley record, Gene Simmons. He had these all in, with the the bubble wrap on them. I guess he liked them. Got the Peter Chris one, and then Destroyers. This one's pretty cool. I love I love that cover. All right, this has got to be uh, <laughs> a little guilty pleasure right here. Probably Matt's favorite record, Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down, you know. <laughs> Listen to this one every day. <laughs> no, but seriously. Who doesn't love this record? Damn. And you got another one right here. I think that's the, the self-title. Kiss Alive 2. Another one right here. He's just, ah, oh man. I guess this guy was a Kiss fan. Journey, um, The Frontiers. Awesome, I found this. I was hyped when I saw this because I remember I used to listen to this one all the time. A little wall, Pink Floyd. Really awesome. Sticks, Paradise. All right, Sabbath right here. You got Masters of Reality. This is probably my favorite one by them. I don't know why. Like, besides Paranoid, this one, I don't know. I love this record. Sabbath Volume 4. You got Zeppelin 3. I actually never owned this one on vinyl, so this was pretty cool to pick up. Same as this one. I, ever owned, I never owned this on vinyl either. But all Zeppelin shit is good. The Eagles. One of those nights. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. My dad used to listen to this one all the time. Black Sabbath, Live Evil. I love that cover. It's about as fresh as it gets. And some of these are in, you know, some of these are in decent condition, you know, but for 35 bucks for all these records, I can't complain, to be honest. You know, it's not the, you know, the greatest deal of all time. You know, I've seen people get, you know, shit for free like this, but I'm not complaining. I thought this was a pretty good deal. Judas Priest, British Steel. Eagles, The Long Run. All right. Eagles. I don't even know what this is. Can't even read it because the font. I don't even think I've ever listened to this record. It's cool. Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. Cool cover. Zeppelin 2. One of my favorites. All Zepp, like I said, all Zeppelin shit is good. The Who, Tommy. Man, this record brings back memories. That's awesome. Greatest Hits, Black Sabbath. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, another good one. And the Mob Rules. We Sold Our Soul for Rock and Roll. And Paranoid. Another good one was Heaven and Hell. I need to get that one. Dio. Alright. Next stack. Women and Children First, Van Halen. This is actually uh, one of my favorite records by them. And then, man, this record, oh, this takes me back, God damn it. 1984. Awesome record. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Probably one of the best records of all time. I mean, this is just one of those records you can listen to, whatever mood you're in. Thin Lizzy, uh, Thunder and Lightning. Not a big, not a big fan, but hey, it's there. Def Leppard. Um, I never really got into Def Leppard either, but they're pretty good. You know, I like some of their stuff on the radio once in a while. Rush, another Rush. Exit stage left. Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. That's always a cool cover. This cover used to scare the shit out of me as a kid. I remember my dad had this one too. Neil Diamond. 
Uh, love it, the Greek. That one's pretty cool. Got Heart. I still want to get the first record. Because um, I remember I used to have that one too, but Little Queen. Barracuda's on this one, so that's cool. Um, Exile on Main Street. Uh, no, no case, though, so... Fast Times at Ridgemont High, the soundtrack. This guy actually had a, a lot of soundtracks, which was pretty cool, and there's a, there's a few coming up. Kind of reminds me of myself. Uh, Rat Out of the Cellar. Yeah, this was probably, this was the only Rat album I ever listened to. Only one I really ever knew of. Steve Miller band living in the USA. That's a cool cover, actually. Leonard Skinner, pronounced Leonard Skinner. This is the self title. This, I think this was their first record, to be honest. But some good songs on there Simple Man, Freebird, Foreigner. You know, that's some good stuff right there. All right, let's uh, get into this stack real quick, and then I'll do the last stack right there is some Disney stuff. But there's some actually pretty cool stuff in here, so if you guys want to stay tuned for that one, I'll save that one for last. But we got The Doors, the first album. Oh, yeah, classic. You got to love The Doors. And um, like I said, there's a lot of uh, soundtracks coming up. You got Grease. I love that. That's cool. Introducing the Beatles. England's number one vocal group. Devo. Um, freedom of choice. Uh, <laughs> Jethro Tull. I love Jethro Tull. You know, Songs from the Woods was good. Living in the Past. It's a crazy band. I love Jethro Tull. Star Wars, the original motion picture soundtrack. This is why I love vinyl, because you can't do this with CDs. You can, but it's not as cool. All the artwork blowing up like this. It's just mad fresh. And uh, oh, that back with Darth Vader on the back. That's sick as hell. Original pressing, 1977. Holy shit. And then we got Rocky. The original soundtrack, one of my favorite movies of all time. I think I had, yeah, I had this one too, the Rocky. So that was cool to find. Superman, the movie. And I know this is well, this stuff is well over $35, obviously, but just for $35, all this stuff is an incredible deal, in my opinion. 2001, A Space Odyssey, original soundtrack. Credence Clearwater, Revival. 20 super hits. Grew up listening to them too. So that was cool find. Pat Benatar and the Heart of the Night. More credence. Um Mardi Gras. That one's cool. Again, more Credence. I got two copies of this one. And I think, if I'm correct, this is their first record. 
correct me if I'm wrong. And this right here is another Credence Clearwater Revival. Bay O Country. Really cool. Alright, like I say, guys, this stack's all Disney stuff, I think. There might be a couple mixed up in there. Maybe, maybe not. But, hey, 35 take all. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take it. So, we got... These are all soundtracks from the, um... Or songs from Walt Disney movies. So, we got Bambi. You know, and I grew up with all these movies, so I had to snag them. And some of them got really awesome artwork, so I might display them in the movie room. The Jungle Book. That, that cover's awesome. This is uh, one of my favorite Walt Disney movies of all time. For sure. Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Treasure Island. That's a cool cover. Merry Christmas songs. 29 all-time favorites. Deputy Dog. Christmas Chipmunks. Alvin Simon and Theodore. Mickey and the Beanstalk. That cover is fresh. Look at that. That is sick. Old Disney stuff was just... Ah, oh man. They, they took a lot of time. Hansel and Gretel. Lady and the Tramp. Pinocchio. Could you imagine if these were all laser discs? Jeez. But still, cool to have the soundtracks. Children's favorites, 25 beloved songs, best loved songs. Um, all cool cover art, that's for sure. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I'm going to pop some of this on in on December. Annie, the, uh, the new musical, I don't really, is it different than the... Oh. Hmm. That's cool. And then you got Annie. The one we all know. The good one. Awesome. Another one of my favorites growing up. And then we got... This one right here. Uh, the Adventures of Little Hawaiata. The Sound of Music. That one's cool. I actually was going to get this on Blu-ray, but... I don't know, just... I didn't think it was worth it. It's a lot of money. Alright. Um, Mouser Size, Walt Disney Production. I guess it's supposed to be like workout music. Pretty cool. Little Red Riding Hood. This, oh my god, this looks so old as fuck. Look at that. It's probably the oldest one here. And then uh, the last one was uh, Peter Pan with an awesome ass cover. So yeah guys, all of these were bought for uh, $35. And I'm going to say this once and I'll say it again. You can find anything if you look for it. Because people do not know what they have. Or they're desperate to get rid of it. Kind of in my case. You know, and... Don't jump on stuff as soon as you see it. You know what I mean? Thirty-five bucks. For like... A lot of records. I didn't even count how many were here, but... There's a lot. You know, close to a hundred if not more. So, um, yeah, guys, definitely think about uh, checking out all of our other videos on our channel. Hit that subscribe button if you like my video, and um, tell me what you guys think about the records, man. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and, you know, whatever you got to do, check out Reckless Nostalgia. I'll see you guys next time.